Welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session, we will see how to swap sheets using a parameter in Tableau. Swapping sheets using a parameter is an important concept. You will definitely come across these situations while working in your projects where you need to use this concept in your dashboards. So I suggest you to watch this video till the end. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have a line chart that shows sales of different segments, consumer, corporate, home office done in different years starting from 2018 till 2021 and this is a region parameter that will allow user to see the sales of whichever region they are interested in. To create this dashboard, I have added four different worksheets, one for each region in a vertical container and then using this region parameter, we can swap between four different worksheets. When we will select South region from the parameter, then the sheet which shows sales of South region will be visible here. Let me select West from the region parameter. Now the worksheet that shows sales of West region will be visible here. So we are swapping between four sheets using this region parameter. Now let's jump to Tableau and see how to create a dashboard similar to this one. The requirement is that we have to show sales of different segments done in different years in each of the region. So we will create a line chart, drag order date to the column shelf, then drag sales to the row shelf. Then to show sales of different segments, we will drag segment to color. Let's change the fit to entire view. Turn on the labels by clicking on show marks label button. So here we have a line chart that shows sales of three segments, consumer segment, corporate segment, and then home office segment done in different years starting from 2014 till 2017. Lastly, we need to show this line chart for different regions that we have in the data set. So many of you will say that we can use a region filter and see sales for whichever region we are interested in. Let's drag region to filter. Click on all and click on OK. Let's click on the drop down and select show filter. So using this filter, we can see sales of whichever region we are interested in. But there is a twist here for each region. There are certain products whose sales we are not interested to look at. Maybe because those products don't sell much in those regions. This is just an example that I am giving here to explain you this concept. For each region, we have to filter out certain products. So we won't be able to use the region filter in this case. We will have to create four different sheets for each region. And then we will swap those sheets using a parameter. Let's remove this region filter. Name the sheet as East region. Let's add product name in the filter as we have to filter out certain products. Click on select from list. Let's deselect any of the product. Now click on OK. Now we will create three more sheets, each for South region, West region and the Central region. Just right click and click on duplicate. Let's name it West region.
and here let's filter out few more products to deselect multiple products at a time select the first product and press shift on the keyboard and click on the last product that you want to deselect and just untick the products so all the selected products will be deselected click on ok now let's create another sheet for central region name it central now let's deselect few products from the product name filter to deselect the multiple products select the first product press shift on the keyboard select the last product and deselect all the products will be deselected click on ok now the last sheet for south region click on duplicate let's name it south region this we are basically doing is because we have to create four different worksheets now lastly let's deselect few products from here also deselect all these products and click on ok now the four different worksheets for each of the region are created lastly we will create a parameter that will help us to swap between these four worksheets so click on the drop down click on create parameter let's name it region parameter from the data type drop down select string click on list and we need to add the values from the region column so click on the drop down and select region these are the four regions that we have in the data set click on ok now we will create a calculated field using this region parameter click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it region selection click on ok now let's show this parameter click on the drop down and select show parameter to see all the regions that we have in the data set now this south region sheet we want to see when the south is selected from the region parameter so drag the region selection field that we have created to filter go to custom value list and here write down south click on plus sign make sure that you are typing the correct spelling as given in the parameter click on ok currently the central region is selected from the parameter so this south region sheet disappeared let me select south now the south region sheet is visible to us we have to repeat this step for the remaining three sheets go to the central region let's show this parameter click on the drop down click on show parameter drag this region selection calculate field to filters go to custom value list type central click on plus sign click on ok now let's select central from the region parameter so you will observe that the central region is now visible go to the west region drag the region selection calculate field to filters go to custom value list here write down west 
make sure to give the correct spellings as given in the parameter click on ok now lastly go to east region sheet drag the region selection calculate field to filters go to custom value list here write down east click on plus sign and click on ok let's show the region parameter now this sheet will be visible when we select east from the region parameter so now the east region sheet is visible to us last step is that we have to create a new dashboard where we will add all these four worksheets create a new dashboard add a vertical container now we will have to drag all the four sheets in this container one below the other let me show you how drag the east region sheet then drag the west region sheet next central region sheet and lastly the south region sheet now hide all these titles right click click on hide title right click click on hide title lastly right click and click on hide title now let me select west region from the parameter so you will see that the legend is not visible to us so add the legends from all the sheets from the region parameter select central then click on the drop down select legends and lastly from the south region click on the drop down and add the legends so basically we have to add the legends from all the sheets and similarly drag all the legends one below the other and hide the titles right click uncheck title right click uncheck title repeat this process for all the legends right click and uncheck title now let's add a title to tell the user which region is selected here write down sales in and insert the region parameter click on ok let's edit the title let's increase the font size to 12 click on bold and click on ok decrease the size of this title now as we will select any region from the parameter the sheets will be swapped let me select the central so now you will observe that we have a line chart that shows sales in the central region and the title has also updated let me select east from the region parameter now we have a line chart that shows sales in the east region so in this way we can make use of a parameter to swap between multiple sheet so this sheet swapping is an important concept in tableau this you can use to swap between multiple sheets if there is no option to use a filter so this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this video do not forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video see you in the next tutorial